Hi folks, uh, today I want to share with you guys about a project I made. Uh, took a lot of very intensive studying over the last two weekends. And what it involves with is uh, when and when not to fish. Uh, basically the best fishing days, when and when not to go. Uh, I did not go solely on other people's opinions. Uh, went on actual stuff that can be validated more than not and uh, having to see it repeatedly to believe it and uh, like I said very intensive studying and um, I'll tell you guys what I came up with it, it involves a uh, paper chart first thing you want to do is go out and purchase one of these it's a 2017 Farmer's Almanac the Special Collector's Edition uh, it is only $6 at your local grocery store. It's in the magazine section. Um, and what I did after that is I made a chart. It ended up taking six pages. But what you want to do is draw uh, seven sections going across. Um, that involves the best time, which would be the, uh, which the magazine will show that. That's morning or evening. That's not really important. Um, the next one is the date. Uh, the date. And what I did, I cut out all the days that said poor or fair. I didn't even put them on this paper. I only included within this chart days that were good or best. You have four ratings. You have poor, then fair, then good, then best. So I didn't even include the bottom two at all. I only put good and best days on here to... Uh, to make it smaller and to not even waste my time with those days. I ain't even going to go. And what I'm going to do is start keeping track of what I catch and see how much truth this holds to my chart. But I have faith in this after all the intensive studying and reading I've been doing over the last uh, two week, two weekends. Uh, the next section over is moon cycles. Now, keep in mind, you want to make a thing going across, explaining what each one is. They are best time which is morning or evening date moon cycles the rating which is either good or best the moon rise and moon set times and are also very important i'll get into that later the barometric pressure uh you cannot look at that uh you cannot put that on there way ahead of time that's something that you have to get off the weather channel uh i think you can look you know just a few days ahead or whatever so you have to add them in as it's getting closer to the time and then and last but not least uh, the zodiac sign that the moon is in that is very important the best three uh, phases that the moon can be in to go fishing is the three water signs which is Pisces being the best one that is why it has the symbol of the fishes but the other two is also Cancer and Pisces what I've learned after making this entire chart there's only five to six zodiac signs on this at all the other six do not even appear on it. 90% of them are Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer, which are the three water signs. There's also, the only other ones that really ever show up on there is a few Tauruses, a few Aquarius, and a few Capricorns, and there's only one set of Virgos on there. I noticed that every time it's uh, a best day, it's, it's always Pisces or Cancer most of the time. All right, anyway... Uh, what I do, it, I have these rated, uh, I, I got these stars that I go by. Each day can earn up to four, four stars going across. Okay, the more stars the day gets, the more I want to go on that day. If it's got four stars, I want to go. Alright, here's how I do, how these certain sections on this earn stars or do not earn stars. The first way they can earn a star is by the date. Uh, obviously, I only put stars on the dates that I'm going to be off of work, which is Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, if, if I got to work, you know, it's hard for me to go anyway. Uh, I can maybe go an hour or two in the evening during the summertime uh, since the clocks are getting ready to move ahead. Uh, you know, but I'd have to go really close to home and it's not really worth it. So I put stars by all the ones that I'm actually going to be off work and, you know, on holidays, so Saturdays, Sundays, and holidays. That earns their first star right there. 
the next section that earns them a star, uh, like I said, they can earn up to four, is the, the phase of, that the moon is in. Uh, the day before, day of, and day after, new moons and full moons will earn them an extra star. Uh, because all fish bite better during a full moon except for the catfish. Catfish bite best on a new moon when there's no moon at all. But all other species bite good on new moons too. Uh, like I said, the day before, day of, and day after a full or new moon. That earns them a star also. Alright. The other way they earn a star is by the zodiac phase that the moon is in. When, they, when it is in any of the three water signs, which I said before is Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. Those are your three water signs. A lot of people do get confused with Aquarius. They think it's a water sign because it is the guy pouring out the uh, water out of the pitcher. It is, a, it is an air sign. Keep that in mind. Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. Pisces being the symbol of the fish, that is your best one, that uh, best phase that the moon can be in for the fish to be biting. So that's your third star that can be earned. I put a star by every uh, day that the moon is in the phase of a water sign. And after I filled out, after I completed this whole year calendar on paper, I realized that, like I said before, about 90% of the good and best days are in water signs. So there has to be some truth to that. Now I'm going to uh, prove it true or false as the year goes on and I experiment with these fishing trips and write down how good I do. Alright, the fourth star uh, that can be earned, and this is very important, People, most people tend to forget about this when they go fishing, is the moonrise and moonset. Okay, uh, the moonrise and moonset times change all the time. It might the moon might rise at two in the morning one day and, or set at five in the afternoon one day. It, you never know when it's going to be. You have to look that up on the internet. You can look at the whole entire year ahead of time for free. Uh, it tells when the sun comes up. And when, uh, I mean, when the moon comes up and the moon goes down. Uh, during a sunrise, sunset is always good fishing for forty-five minutes before and forty-five minutes after. Or uh, an hour, we'll say an hour. An hour after the sun comes up, sometimes two, and an hour before the sun goes down, and an hour after dark. It's the same thing with the moonrise and moonset. You got an hour and a half window on each one. At 45 minutes before the moonrise, 45 minutes after the moonrise. Same with the moonset, 45 minutes before, up to 45 minutes after. Now, what will earn them another star right here in this section? is when the moonrise or the moonset coincides with a sunrise or sunset. For example, right here tomorrow, Sunday, March the 12th, it is a full moon tomorrow. That earned it a star right there. It also earned a star because I'm off work, which is Sunday. Unfortunately, I'm not even going to go because the weather's so shitty because it's getting down in the 20s. Uh, but it would have earned a third star because of this reason. The moonrise and moonset for tomorrow, March the 12th, would have been 7.25 a.m. So that would coincide, that would uh, fall in line with the sunrise. You see, they'd be, when they're real close together like that, uh, that, is a, that is when the fish go absolutely crazy. And the moon would have set tomorrow at 7.24 p.m. Since the clocks are uh, moving forward tonight at 2 a.m., the uh, moon rising tomorrow, uh, moon setting tomorrow at 7:24 in the evening. That's about the exact same time it would be getting dark. So you want to also look on at all that for the whole year. It is very time consuming. It, it it'll take you a couple hours to make this chart, and that's very uh, doing it at a fast pace. It really took me about three or four days to make this chart properly. Um, I'm going to give you guys a better look at it here. I'll I'll just hold it up to the camera for a while. So you can have an idea of how to write it. You can also put it on a uh, notepad on the computer. Or uh, I mean Microsoft Word document. Or even a uh, slideshow or something you can create. And, and you know uh, like I said that moonrise and moonset is very important. Uh, the fish normally uh, on days where it's just fair and even good. The fish are only going to bite during those key times. 
Uh, I've had experiences lately where I go fishing all day and don't catch jack crap. And then an hour before dark, I'll sit there and catch 10 or 15 crappie. Just cast after cast, just for like a half an hour, and then boom, they quit. And uh, you wonder where it came from. That was probably because the sun was setting, but it also could have been because the the moonrise or moonset. Now, sometimes, keep in mind, the moonrise or moonset could be at noon. It could be right in the middle of the day. So, if you ain't got time to get up that early and be there at 6 in the morning or fishing, or you can't stay till dark, or, the, you know, the mosquitoes are uh, driving you nuts, you, you have that one hour and a half window I talk, mentioned earlier that might be at noon or 2 in the afternoon when the moon is coming up or moon is going down. Get out there and just fish that one hour and see how you do and keep track of it. Here's my chart. See if you can get a good look at it. I, I just title it Best Fishing Days of 2017. You want to put if they're biting best in the morning or evening over here. Then you go over and put the date going down. That's where you get your first star if it falls on your days off from work or whatever. The next section over is the moon cycle it's in. If it's 63% and, and uh, waxing or waning, if it's full or a new moon. Notice how I got stars there. It's because it's a full moon. The next section over is the rating. As I mentioned before, I only put the good and best days on there. I don't even bother writing the fair or poor. The next section over was the moonrise and moonset times. See how it says, uh, see it says 5.20 a.m. and 5.24 p.m. They are usually uh, uh, approximately 12 hours apart. But they do vary. I've seen them uh, 13 hours, 12 and a half. It's kind of anywhere in that area. But normally, if it comes up, if the moon comes up at 5 in the morning, usually that's set about 5 in the evening. But it will change on you. See, uh, for instance, it's 5 in the morning here, but two days later, it's at 4 in the morning. So you, you got to keep up with that. The next section over is that barometric pressure, which I can't keep track of right now because it's too far ahead. Or I just didn't bother writing it because I wasn't going to go anyway. Uh, the deal with the barometric pressure is uh, people have a lot of different beliefs on that. It, it, it's supposedly when it's steady or, or rising is when they bite best. Okay, and that last section over here is the zodiac phase that the moon is in. Virgo. Scorpio, got a star because that's a water sign. Scorpio. Let's see if there's any more stars on there. There's some more stars down there at the bottom because that's the moon's going to be in Pisces and Cancer. And then Scorpio again. This is just one month right here, folks. This is the month of, a month of Mar half of March and half of April. N notice the pattern. Look at the moon sign that the zodiac the moon's in almost all the good days and best days are scorpio pisces and cancer at least 75 to 80 percent of them uh, i hope this was helpful to you and uh like i said there i can't prove none of the stuff as of yet it's just a uh an experiment i'm going to try you know but um I will do a follow-up video on it probably a few months from now and see how much truth it holds to it. Maybe I should also go on the poor days and just see if I can catch any or if I really do bad or whatever. We'll, we'll see. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this and I uh, hope everybody else tries the same thing and let's get some feedback going on this.